Hey, our friends are going to draw a dog that's graduating. Yeah, from school. <laughs> this is a fun lesson you can use for a homemade card that you're going to gift to someone that's graduating. Or maybe your puppy graduated from puppy school. <laughs> we hope you're going to follow along. You need your drawing supplies. We're going to use markers. You also need some? Paper and some thinner color with. You ready to start? Yes. Let's first draw our dog's nose. We're going to draw it in the middle of our paper and just slightly towards the top. We don't want to go too high because we're going to, we need room for the hat. We're going to start here and draw, let's draw an oval shape right here in the middle of our paper and just a little bit towards the top. And then we could also draw a small little oval inside and then color that shape in so our little dog has a shiny nose. <laughs> Then let's draw the eyes. I'm going to draw a circle over here on the left and another one the same size over here on the right. Then let's draw the same thing we did for the nose. Let's draw a small oval or circle in the top left for the highlight. And then let's color in the big circle, but leave the little circle white. Anytime we fast forward the video, or if we go too fast, what can our art friends do? Pause the video. Yeah, for extra time. Oh, and eyelashes. Mm -hmm. Super cute. Okay, now let's draw the top of our dog's nose. I'm going to draw a little snout, a little curve that goes over the nose. <laughs> and then we can draw the mouth. I'm going to draw a letter U. It starts right below the nose in the middle. And we'll come out to the left. And then repeat that same letter U. Now it looks like a W for the other side. Okay, let's also draw a tongue. I'm going to draw a, another letter U in the middle. Let's draw two bumps on top to complete the tongue. And then let's connect the tongue into the top of the mouth. This makes the mouth look open. Yeah, <laughs> let's color the inside of the mouth. Now let's draw the top of our dog's head. We're going to draw a curve that goes over the top. We're going to curve up and then back down. <laughs> and I'm going to leave a little space right here and then we're going to do the same thing and draw another curve coming down on each side for the cheeks. Yeah, there we go. And then on the cheeks, let's draw little zigzags for the fluffy fur. And I'm going to draw a small one, big one, and then another small one and see how they're kind of curving in. And then let's connect these two fuzzy cheeks with a curve for the chin. <laughs> so cute. <laughs> yeah, I love it. Okay, let's draw the ears. But this time, instead of drawing them pointed, let's draw them floppy. We're going to draw a curve that comes out. And then we're going to draw a little zigzag at the end. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We'll draw a little line that comes out. And then right at the end, I'm going to draw a little zigzags Yes. Let's start here and then we'll curve down like this and then we're going to curve into the cheek. Oh, it's really cute. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure what kind of dog we're drawing. It kind of looks like a golden retriever, kind of looks like a corgi, but these ears are different. You can make different. it any way you yeah, want. Yeah, it could be any, <laughs> any kind of dog that you want. You could even change the ears. You don't have to draw them exactly like us. You could draw them pointed. You could draw them even longer, or you could draw them just really short. Oh, that's really cute. <laughs> okay, now let's draw the cap so that it looks like our dog is graduating from school. So I'm going <laughs> to start here. We're going to draw a line coming up on the left and also a line coming up over here on the right. And then let's connect these two lines with a curve that comes up and back down. And then the graduating caps look really funny. They got a square on top. So I'm going to draw a little guide point right here. And we'll draw a guide point over here and in the same spot over here. So we have one on each side and then one right in the middle. Let's connect these two together. The point at the, in the middle down to the left side. And then let's also, oh, I'm going to make this come up just a little higher and in the middle. And then we'll come down and connect to the one on the right. We did it. Okay, now let's connect it in to the middle. We'll draw another diagonal line coming down and another diagonal line on the other side coming down. 
And then there's a little tassel that comes down from the hat. So we're gonna draw a string that comes down. We're gonna come into the ear right here. And then at the end, let's draw a circle. And then next we're gonna draw a square shape. So we could draw two lines coming down from the circle and then connect those at the bottom. And then let's draw the end of the tassel. We're gonna draw a curve that comes out and down. And then the same thing on the right side coming out of that square out and down. And then at the very bottom, we just connect them with a straight line. What should we draw next? A bow tie. Oh, <laughs> you want to add a bow tie? Yeah. Okay, for sure. You could also draw a scarf if you wanted to. Let's draw a little knot right under the puppy's chin. <laughs> this would be cute. And then right here, we could draw a line that comes down and then connect up to the knot. Let's do the same thing. Oh yeah, our puppy is definitely dressed for graduation. Dressed for success. Dressed for success. <laughs> <laughs> okay, right here we're gonna draw a little zigzag line for the fur on our little puppy's chest. And we could do the same thing on the right side. And then let's draw the puppy's paws, front paws. We're gonna draw a line coming down and I'm also coming in Come down on this side too. And then we can curve around and then up like that. And I'm going to stop there and do the same thing on this side. We'll curve around and up. And then we could add even more fur right here. I'm going to draw another zigzag line to connect the two paws or two legs together. Oh, let's add the little toe lines. Draw two little curves for the toes. Oh, and then let's also draw the belly. And let's draw the back legs too. I'm gonna to draw a curve that comes around because there's a little puppy sitting. And then we can draw the little paw sticking out and then curving in. Let's do the same thing on the right side. We'll draw the knee sticking out and coming back in. And then the little paws sticking out again and back in. Next, let's add the toe lines. I'm going to add another one right there and then two on the side too. What are we missing? A tail. A tail. I'm going to draw it sitting on the ground. I'm going to draw it curving around, coming back like this, and then curving back in. I'm going to draw it like this. Oh. I like it. Oh, that's a big tail. I like it. Yes. And then, what are you going to do coming back down? <gasps> Zigzags. Oh, it's a furry little fuzzy tail. That's really so cute. cute. <laughs> Hadley, we did it. We finished drawing our graduating puppy. It's not completely done. We still need to color it. Yes. This part will fast forward, but at the end, you can pause the video to match our same color. Or you could color your puppies any way you want. You ready to fast forward? Mm hmm. We did it! We finished drawing and coloring our graduating puppy. It looks really cute, all colored in. Yeah, I think so too. And I love that you colored yours different. You added a pink bow. Also love the white gel pen that you added. It makes the bow look super shiny. I added it too. I also added it to the tongue. Yeah, that makes it look really, really shiny. You can pause the video right now to match our same coloring, or you could change the color of your puppy. You could even add spots. Oh, that would be really cute. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing a puppy graduating from school. I'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.